This film provides a better understanding of our products and facilitates their use. The film does not replace the instructions for use or any mandatory instructions or training for specific products. The assembly and disassembly of all textile components of the helmet can be carried out quickly and without tools. The textile components of the helmet include the harness, the front and back carrier ring, including padding, the crown straps with or without comfort pad, and the neck protector. The general design of the clips at each textile component is identical, but following a keyhole principle, the clips of one textile component differ slightly from clips of other textile components in order to easily determine which parts belong to which. Furthermore, there is a marking on each clip and on the related mount on the retainer ring. The harness is available in both medium and large sizes and in two comfort levels, with or without cheek padding. The size and part number of the harness is indicated on a sewn-on tag. The three-point harness comprises a chin strap with buckle and velcro fastener and a triangular neck strap with a clamping buckle. To remove the harness from the helmet, Loosen both clips at the end of the chin strap from the mount on the right and left of the front retainer ring. Then loosen the clip at the end of the neck strap from the mount on the back retainer ring. The harness is completely removed using these three steps. To attach the harness, we recommend starting with the clips on the chin strap. Ensure that the clips are inserted into the appropriate mounts on the retainer ring and that they click securely and audibly into place. Then fasten the clip of the neck strap onto the back retainer ring in the same way. The assembly and disassembly of the harness is identical for all variants. The assembly consists of the front carrier ring with padding and the back carrier ring, which includes a gearbox, telescopic axle and attached gearbox cover. All of these components are also covered with padding. Both paddings are available in two different comfort levels, made either from simple synthetic leather or high-quality lined Nomex knit. For the cleaning or replacement of the textile components, only the front padded carrier ring and the gear cover with padding need to be removed. To do this, loosen the connection points between the front and back carrier ring on the left and right side so that you can remove the padded carrier ring as a whole. Then loosen the mounting at the front on the carrier ring from the front retainer ring. After that, grip the gear cover in the middle, loosen it and pull it up off the mount on the back carrier ring. You can now clean both textile components either by hand or machine. To reassemble, simply reverse the order of the steps. Ensure that the connections audibly click into place and that the side connection points between the front and back carrier ring are set to your individual head size. See instructions for pre-setting the carrier ring to position A and B. For more maintenance, you can remove the support carrier ring, including gears and telescopic rod. The 
the crown straps consist of a six-piece harness system. They are available with or without an attached comfort pad. To remove the crown straps, loosen and remove all clips from the mounts on the front and back retainer rings. The comfort pad does not have to be removed from the crown straps for cleaning. The crown straps are attached in reversed order. Ensure that the clips audibly click into place in their respective mounts. The crown straps have no preferred orientation during assembly. There is no front or back. However, please note that the comfort pad runs lengthwise. The assembly of the clips on the back retainer ring should be fastened at the correct mounting points according to the individual helmet height needed. You can find detailed information on setting the carrying height in a separate video. Attach the Nomex versions to the helmet. Insert the ends of the neck guard holder into the helmet at the front retainer ring on the left and right. Then insert the middle attachment points of the neck protector holder between the helmet shell and the back retainer ring until they audibly click into place. To disassemble the neck protector, simply reverse the order of steps. To attach the Dutch type cloth version to the helmet, First insert the ends of the neck protector holder into the helmet at the front retainer ring on the left and right. Then fasten the middle attachment points of the neck protector holder between the helmet shell and the back retainer ring until they audibly click into place. Insert the four attachment points of the neck protector holder into the front of the front retainer ring until they clearly and audibly click into place. To disassemble the neck protector, simply reverse the order of steps.